Hello again, everybody. Today, we are once again working on Zephyr. Behind me is one of the parts that I need to get Zephyr going again. Before I could do any more redoing on the solar array, I needed, of course, a replacement solar panel. So here it is. This one is identical to the other five that are already up there. It's identical to the one that got destroyed. So, I have, first off, this drill, some of these screws. I'll go ahead and set these up here. And I'm going to take this out because that will be right in the way if I don't. We'll make sure that the connector is facing the right direction. Pretty sap on this ladder. Darn it. Okay. So you know, let me know what you think about this uh, method of filming with the uh, camera on my head. I don't know how that's really going to work, but eh, I'll try something a little different. I'm noticing something. This one is just a tad bigger. It is the same. I mean, it's it comes. This panel comes exactly from the same seller. It's supposed to be the same. If y'all can see that. This is a different size. We can make it work, but I would have liked to have had. I'll uh, see another difference. See, this one is the lines go straight across here with no pattern or anything. This one has a little pattern in there. So, they are different just a little bit. Huh. Well, we'll make it work. Okay, that works. Of course, this little frame is all warped and bent and messed up, but we're going to make it work. So, take these back out. Okay. How safe will this be? I don't know. That's the closest I'm going to get them because these are touching. So, okay. Now at least I can tell where to drill my hole. This is the best bit to use for this application because you don't want this bit going all the way up through and hitting, hitting the uh, panel itself. So I think this will be my best bet. So let me just see. I need to get the bolt. This is over here. Come here, bolt, bolt. nut, washer. Okay. My little pocket's handy now. It holds stuff. But this should hold too. 
Okay. Should be enough, I think. Try and see. Yes. And that will not touch the panel, so that's what we want. For that middle one in there, I am going to have to get uh, get the panels raised up, I think. All right, so that's got that. Now we gotta address this floppiness here. All right, so this is the original bracket that came off of it originally. I don't remember which one was facing out. This one was facing out because there's the paint on it. Okay, so I got this piece of wood stuck in there to hold the bolt from falling down. There we go. There, this. I may have to re-drill one of these holes, probably on that other one, I guess, since I'm putting this one in. It's going to be off. But that's okay, I can make it work. Somehow. First off, put my wood in here to hold. That bolt up and take this off and I'm gonna to have to drill a hole which is okay see I got a little play there how far back do I have to go in order for it to work nope I have to drill a new one right there That's probably enough. Then this has got to go into that, like that. So it should work. I'm down pretty good, and check them every now and then. That should be good. Okay, so, now, there's one big solar array again. Alright, so, y'all missed a little bit, I guess. I had to get these hinges off of the bent-up pipes. So, I've been doing that, I just kind of had to grind them off and knock them off of it. I actually had to straighten this one, uh, this top one out a little it's got the bushing coming out i may have to press that back in but it's it's fairly straight and it should work just fine i'm actually going to go ahead since i pulled that pin off of that side i'm going to go ahead and tack it while i'm up there welding i'm going to tack this pin in there but let's put these on and see how that looks now all right so let's get up here Got a bunch of those screws and my hinges. It should be, is that it? Nope. Just had them on like that. Yeah. There it went. Okay, so that has the hinges on there. Now we'll get a piece of pipe and put in here. I guess it'll be back there like that. Let me 
measure how long we need here. What is the width of the entire panels? The entire panels is five foot, so yep, I'll go five foot. That way it at least looks even. Can any of y'all ever get your ends perfect? I can't. Hook that side in. About there. This side. About there. This needs to be crimped back down. But actually the whole thing is going to go back up in there like that probably. So that uh, that won't reach it. I will have to extend the piece of pipe. Get another piece of pipe, I guess. But that's okay. All right. Okay, so this one right here needs to go in a little. <clears throat> okay, so for the welding, I don't want to have this camera that close to the welder, so. Okay, so we've got, I've got all this welded here not beautiful but it's like all my welds are not really beautiful but they are functional so I should be able to rotate that up and should be able to get it maybe welded onto that and then over here I'm going to have to fully rebuild a support right there uh, so I'm going to do that, and I will get back to you. And just like magic, there it is. Okay, so what I did is, of course, you've seen that I had the one bar across. Now, I welded it to the support bar that already went across the original one because it wasn't damaged. I put another one down on here and welded it on, and I put three uprights. And also welded that brace on there as well as up here there's a brace coming over over there I actually welded that to the roof so now what we have to do is the one question see in order to get to my panel to hook it up I could probably reach underneath there but I want to raise it up mainly because I want to see if it still raises up because I don't see any reason why it shouldn't I mean it's pretty much the same as it was as you can see I think it may be sitting this way just a little bit uh, uh, maybe not. But, anyway, let's raise this thing up and just see if it still works. Okay, you can see I have the rubber hood latches loose. So we'll go in here and flip the switch up. And there it goes. Seems to be working. There we go. Zephyr now has his solar system back. Well, almost. One more thing I have to do. Okay, so here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to hook that solar panel back up into the array. I'm going to unhook this one. And the negative will go into the positive of this one. Just like that. Hopefully camera was on that. 
Then this, this is a plus of this one. And it is going to go into the plus that is going into the charge controller. Or rather, into the combiner box over there. Then down into the charge controller. So that has our solar array connected. All right, so Zephyr's solar array is back in action. It works back to where it was. And uh, actually this side is a little stronger now than it was before because I made it out of thicker pipe. Uh, this is actually the pipe that the deck was mounted on before. So it's a little stronger. And you can definitely tell by looking at all of the panels I need to clean them, but uh, you can definitely tell which one is the new one. <laughs> it shows up. It really sticks out. Anyway. Well, I'm glad to see that. Now, I did have a couple of more projects for today, but starting to get a little late, and uh, I believe I'm going to call it a day. By the way, let me know in the comments below how you like the head uh, camera footage like i have a uh, little attachment that came with that osmo action can't do it with one hand yeah it is this little contraption right here and what this does is you just put stick the camera in here tighten it up and you where you look is where the camera looks so it's kind of handy it actually I think it did okay. Uh, I haven't even looked at the footage yet. I may have been, I may have had it at completely the wrong angle. I hope not. But if so, I'll have to uh, do some more footage of. I'm not going to tear it back apart, of course, but I'll I'll film some more footage showing everything. But anyway, hopefully the head camera thing worked. Uh, let me know, like I said, let me know in the comments below if you liked the head camera footage where you could see more detail of what I was doing or not. Uh, or if it would be better to just stick it on a tripod and just let it go. Anyway, I guess that's going to be about it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.